Fucking Zedetti. Da. Uh, please ignore this giant box filled with Nerf guns. I've grown up and I have real guns now, and I might put these in a yard sale at some point. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll find a small child that wants to, you know, shoot his little sister. That's the best thing for them, man. Not your cat. Don't shoot your cat, ever. Uh, three fangs. Just three. I've already unboxed one of these. I'll unbox this again now. Because our map is coming or has passed, depending on when this video has been released. That's not up to me, that's up to God. When will this video be released, God? Tomorrow. That's bullshit. Well, actually, you don't know what the date is. So, God's correct. Um, this is not one, but a pair of mini DSP Nano Digis with all the associated wires because, as you know, my living room is now controlled by one of these. If I needed to, I could bring a third one. And we're gonna do our math completely digital to all devices. And then, fuck, I gotta buy a bunch of converters. Actually, no, I don't need to. We can still do coaxial digital. We don't have to go optical if this is going to be nearby. So the goal is at RMAF. Let me real quick this for a second. Here's the front end of the room at RMAF. It looks exactly like this. People and everything. Um, there's going to be f at least four passive speakers and at least three active speakers that are going to be displayed and demoed. And I want to be able to do that quickly. I don't want you to come into the room and say, oh, in 20 minutes you can come back, we'll switch to this speaker. I want someone to say, hey, I want to hear these. Click, boom, done. And the only way to do that is to have individual amplifiers for every speaker and individual DACs for every amplifier and then the ability to switch the digital inputs from one DAC to another and disable the others. And that's easily done with a mini DSP and any infrared remote you want. Now. Since we're gonna have more than four, I had to get two of these, and the goal would be, I wanna hear, you know, speaker number one, and this one, speaker one, DAC one gets activated. Every one of the DACs and amp combos can be DSP corrected for the room. It won't be um, Dirac Live, but we're not interested in that. And this is money that I spent out of the donations that have come for our math, this actual number is a little bit higher now. We've got a couple. The MX4 sold for like $1433, although that hasn't been paid yet. But hopefully we'll have like a $1400 extra. Take 370 of that for these. And maybe I'll put them in the yard sale after the event and try to make some money back. But it's basically gonna be, these are gonna sit in the front of our math. Uh, the infrared receiver is here. And we're gonna have take a remote and it's gonna be like, all right, which speaker you wanna hear? Boom, and you hit that button. This shuts off, this one outputs, the DAC goes on. If the powered speakers, you're gonna wire to this directly. If they don't take coaxial, we'll get the converters to convert to digital to optical. The other DACs are planning to use JDS Labs EL DACs or Gashelli Labs DACs in the front for the whole expensive room in RMAF because that's all you really need to spend a DAC to really enjoy music. There are better DACs, but there's a line and that's the whole point of the RMAF room is there's a line. $200 on a DAC is pretty fucking good. So you'll be able to switch. I'm not doing mono DACs. That would require so many more of these. It's not even funny. Although I could have one output and then two DACs because it's just a split. Shut up. Shut up. My brain already hurts. Point is, these are the best things you can buy for what we're doing. So I bought them. Moving on. Um, these are for Princess Pasta. I have a thing here. Well, let me show you the thing. I'm gonna show them the thing. For those of you who don't know, I used to have a tub of Andy's candies. And that tub was then in my rack that was here. I know you all miss it. It's not gone. People were saying they missed it. It's not gone. It just lives in here now. Because it's just, I just needed the cleanliness. And we're gonna get a better piece of furniture for that. It's gonna be fine. But this is where all my change for the last like three years is gone. And I'll pull out every quarter usually and feed the meters. But Pasta saw that and went, fuck! Actually, could you re, re could you reenact the, what you said? Pasta? No. no? She, 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 what did you say when you saw the change and you were like, I hate this? I literally said, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I hate this. So we bought her. This is not going to be enough. I don't think this is going to be enough. How many are in here? It's enough. She says it's enough. I, I'm going to believe that woman over there that she's going to take all the change 
out of this, which weighs about Seventeen pounds, sixteen point seven pounds, which is a bowling ball, by the way. And she's gonna put it into ten dollar quarter rolls, uh, fifty cent penny rolls, dimes. Five dollar dimes and two dollar nickels. I worked in retail for a long time. She worked in retail. Well, she's gonna deal with all that. And you know what? Have you ever dealt with American the monies? Because in Paraguay, they don't use real pennies and nickels and dimes and everything. So that's going to be new for her. She's going to want to... It's very dirty here. Money is very dirty here. It's usually made by dirty means like drugs and prostitution. Um, and this arrived, and I had to peek into it. So I apologize for not ripping the bag open. But I didn't know what the fuck it was. And apparently it is a happy birthday dude save the planet gift. So I don't know who sent it. I swear to God, if it's that Orbeez motherfucker, I'm going to come and find you. It could be my friend Sushi as well. It could be anybody. But I looked at it and it says microfiber camping and travel towel. Quick dry ultra soft. So I'm like, okay. It's a towel. It's a bare essentials towel with a very strange barcode on it. Come back on fucking paper towels. Come back. I don't know if it's your paper towels. Come back on paper towels. That's what they're... I know what it is. I bear... I have a bag filled with partially used paper towels. Be Here, you want to see my bag? Chewbacca, you want them to see my bag? Let me show them my bag. Can I get my bag from this side? Yeah. This is a bag of paper towels that have not been soiled, just used to like dry my hands. Like here, here's a, here's a good example. This is a perfectly clean paper towel. It just was dried my hands, crumbled it up, it was wet, and I went, and then it dried and put it in this bag. Yes, these are per, I don't clean the dishes with them. I clean the floor and cat shit and anything that makes a paper towel irredeemable. This is for irrede... These are still redeemable paper towels. In an, in an emergency, in a Mad Max fucking... Mad Max, not Fury Road. No, 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 older. Um, Thunderdome. In a Mad Max Thunderdome merchant situation, this is fucking gold. Gold! I love gold. Could you imagine in, like, the post-apocalyptic future finding, like, a mostly clean paper towel? Holy shit. I could trade this for like three brides in the afterworld. Holy crap. So anyway, I got this gift. And Pasta wonders why I can't stay focused when doing emails. This is just my brain, baby. It's just everywhere. So what is this? This is a Bare Essentials. Probably made in China where they have absolutely no restrictions on anything. Warning, keep away from small children. Why would they ask me to do that? Um... The thin film may cling to nose and mouth and prevent breathing. This bag is not a toy. Hey, pasta. Yeah. I got a toy for you. Here you go. Look, I got this bag. Here. Play with that bag. Oh, uh, the cat's going for it. Please stop her before she dies. This is definitely not to replace paper towels. It's huge. Wait. It's got a, what is this, a button? Oh, that isn't even like a button. That, that, what is that? What did I just do? Oh God, I fucked up. Oh, Jesus. Was that just to display it? This didn't even like hang on for very long. Uh, this must be a temporary button just to like display it in a store. Because that popped out. I guess, you know what? I don't think that's supposed to fall out, but it broke anyway. So the person who ordered this, thank you, but that broke, so I can't hang it. Um, yeah, this is not to replace paper towels. This is gigantic. It is one of those very thin, lightweight towels. Did my sister have a thin towel? My sister had a thin towel. Not that I washed my sister towel off. Stop thinking about her. She's on another video, linked in the description. M Cook, M Unboxing, linked in the description. So yeah, that's basically today's absurd screaming fest. I've got weird, honk, honk. Weird gift towels from Bear Essentials. I've got uh, $16 in coin wrappers, 16 pounds in coin wrappers in like 
three ounces. And I'm talking about Nerf guns and mini DSPs. And we're gonna see how all this goes down. Hopefully mid-September I get back to actual real life and RMF is done and I'm just selling things, just selling things. Try to make up that deficit, because there's gonna be one. Anyway, tomorrow will be another unboxing. Maybe I'll be sane in that one, I doubt it.